So just as one example, as I mentioned before, I am an executive at just one behavioral health organization. And here are the organizations we deal with every week, after week, after week. So let's talk about government. We deal with government officials at the local, state, and national level. So we're talking about mayors, governors, governors appointed members, boards, commissioners. Uh, maybe you're interested in business. We deal with the Chamber of Commerce. So anything related to business in a city, we are involved in those types of work. Criminal justice system, law enforcement. Maybe you're interested in hospitals or clinical support at a doctor's office. Hey, are you in college at a university? We deal with those too. Hey, do you work at a bank? Are you interested in that? We deal with also financial systems and insurance companies. We deal with employment agencies. Are you interested in technology? We deal with information technology companies every single day. And of course, our core services are related to families and children. So hopefully the more that you're learning and listening to this video, you'll see there really is a not an area you're going to find where the field of mental and behavioral health cannot support and does not apply to. And the leaders of these organizations are really understanding the importance of putting mental and behavioral health at the forefront in order to have a productive workforce that helps our world get better. But when you're thinking about careers in behavioral health, you may have an interest in what I'll call proactive strategies. So this is how can we develop good habits related to behavioral health, mental health, mental well-being before it, it, there's a crisis, before there are issues where, uh oh, I don't know what to do. What types of habits do we personally have in place that help us to deal with that? So those are kind of proactive ways and there are careers that are directly related to that. On the other end, you can focus on strategies that are kind of reactive. So this is after the crisis has happened, after there is actually a formal diagnosis. There is a long list and library of just different careers focused on supporting people that are dealing with mental and behavioral health issues. And then here is the secret no one wants to talk about. Just about every single person deals with these issues at some point in their life. So right now, probably about one out of every four people watching this video is dealing with the issue right now. And that's just at this moment. We all will deal with mental and behavioral health issues at some point in our life. So if we all deal with it, we have to talk about it more. And this is why there are so many career opportunities for those that are interested in helping people work through these types of challenges and opportunities to develop better daily habits about those internal conversations we have every day inside our mind.